Now I want to go over view router. I want to show you how to use it, what it is and how simple it is in view to create routes. So let's go inside router here inside index file. And we have two functions here that we are importing from view router package. We have create router, which is just a function that creates a new router instance. And we have this create web history function that creates a new history object. So it leverages the push state API that is provided by web browsers. So we can keep track of all the pages that we visited inside this application. For example, we can go next and we can go to previous page and so on. And then here we have a, an array of routes and it's very easy to create a new route. It's just an array of objects where you have path. So what will be written inside the URL, you have the name of this route because sometimes you want to push to this route programmatically and you have the component that will be rendered when this path is activated. And you have some other fields available on this route object here, but we will not use them, so I will not mention them here. And this is a also a slightly different approach. You can lazy load routes inside view router. So you are loading routes only if you are visiting them. For example, here, this home route, home component, we imported that component regardless of whether we are going to visit it. But you have also this other approach where you import components only if you plan to use it, only if you visit this specific path. So going back, so here we are exporting our router object. And so then inside our main file here, we are importing this router and telling our view application to use this router here. And then let's go inside app root component. Here we have a router view, a functional component, where we will render the component that matches the path that we are visiting. And here we have router link, also a component, that actually allows us to navigate through our application. So when this gets rendered, it is just a regular href tag. So if we go here and if we inspect what we have, well, it's just an href, nothing more to it. 